This is a live demonstration of uh, Meninder Coker and McIntosh technique of pediatric ACL reconstruction with physial sparing approach using a tensor fascia lata as a graft. Now this is a very unique uh, technique in which we don't drill any tunnels and what we need to do is we need to identify and clear the footprint. If there is any remnants which are there, we should protect, preserve those remnants because we can stitch them back to on its place. Now we go underneath, we make a portal underneath the intermeniscal ligament and clean the area just anterior to the ACL footprint. I usually use a striker curved shaver blade and it works very nicely for it. And I will just do a little aggressive shaving in that particular area in order to expose the raw bone which will increase the healing of the ligament at that particular site. So this is to increase the healing of the uh, is graft which is passed at this point of time. So this graft is just anterior to the ACL footprint or the ACL stump. Now as compared to any other technique, in this technique the chances of physial disruption is practically zero. So we make and dilate the area which is anterior to the ACL by using uh, the artery forceps so as it is easier for us to pass the tendon graft anterior in that region in the notch in the particular area. The facial lata graft is harvested from the lateral thigh. We usually take around 15 to 20 centimeters of the uh, graft and that is actually uploaded on another video. What we are doing here is we are passing the sutures through the uh, through the anterior uh, area just anterior to the notch that is just beneath the anterior intermeniscal ligament and then we will be passing the suture from the posterior lateral recess or the posterior lateral uh, portal now what is important here is to go into the uh, uh, area of the graft harvest and this is the area of the graft harvest and you can see that we are harvesting the graft nicely and then we will be just feeding the wire into the posterior lateral compartment and this wire will be pulled back from the posterior lateral compartment. The area from which the posterior lateral uh, wire is pulled out that area is again dilated so that the graft can be pulled into. So again we are using an artery forcep and we are widening the posterior lateral area from which we want to pass the graft inside the knee. So we will just dilate it once again so that the facial lata graft can be uh, passed underneath the uh, this uh, structure so this is how we dilate the posterior lateral area and once we are uh, once we are uh, dilated enough we will be just pulling this wire and by pulling this wire gently the fascia lata graft will be pulled into the knee joint so here we are now pulling the graft into the knee joint you can see this is the this is the graft which is now pulled up into the knee joint and just anterior beneath the intermeniscal ligament. So you can see that the graft is nicely positioned at its desired place and it's, pos it's very nicely situated in the area of the desired location. Now at this point of time what we can do is we can fix it up by many different fixation divides anteriorly. The standard technique of Coker will usually advise you to tie it on the periosteum but usually I use an anchor and after that if there is a stump which is remaining the ACL stump is there 
we will be doing stump augmentation by tying this tens fascia lata graft to the stump and that will actually increase the healing of the graft to the stump. So we might use one or two of these sutures so as to integrate the fascia lata graft with the tendon. The, the other very important uh, aspect of using this graft is this graft can also is also acting as a limiers procedure. So you do a lateral extra articular tenodesis also along with it because when you re it and uh, bring it anteriorly from the posterior aspect, you actually what you do is you are creating a sort of a lateral extra articular tenodesis also so you get a very good stability on the extra articular aspect also so for the young guys like this this sort of acl reconstruction physical sparing approach is very good it leads to a very strong uh, ligament intraarticularly and also supplements an extra articular fixation a sort of an LET for these young kids and usually it is without any risk of growth disturbances if you have any more questions you can write down to us on the comment box and send us on other numbers given below thanks a lot